dance itself, you know, sometimes carrying a very negative or uh, idea be into village, even in different religion, you know. But the thing is that um, we try to understand. That's why we do first a needs assessment program wherever we provide the service. Then we give an orientation that what is this program. So we are not coming for teaching dance. So this is a process. So it's a tool. So dance movement therapy process. Through these people, you know, come into a change. Mm -hmm. So it brings a change. So that's we have to first, you know, see it. And especially when we go to the village, because uh, Either people think dance means a high classical background like either Mollika Sarabai or it is a kind of cabaret, you know. Nothing in the between. So that's how we try to do this all kind of needs assessment according to the session plan. We talk with the community, we give an orientation program, we show some video images. <coughs> These girls speak about that, what is that? And then, you know, we explore. So now it's initially when we started, it was a big problem to understand, but now we are partnering with 30 organization in different area in South Asia. So that's really helps, you know, to advocate that this is a process for social change. It's in my organization, some Muslim girls working and, you know, they are taking their leadership role in their community. So. It's a big issue because dance itself is a taboo in the Muslim community. And so when they were started and came into our training of the trainer program, so, you know, their community made lots of, like, you know, going against them. So three and four of them also leave our training of the trainer program, but the five of them still do it. And two of them joined with us as a, you know, as a trainer of the uh, Kolkata Shangbe. So now the thing is that they, the way they leading their life, you know, that bring a big change into their community. So that uh, I can say an example that uh, when we are say, like organizing a workshop, regional workshop in South Asian on dance movement therapy in Nepal. So these two girls is the first of their community who are traveling by uh, you know, flight and going to other country. So that's make a big change into their community that this is dance is not for exploiting or you know cabaret or that kind of, but this is a kind of program which is for social change, for recover, for healing for the people. So that's how, you know, they became understand and they, you know, give honor to this girl on that day, the day, you know, they are living for this workshop because they think that they are the role model of their community. So that's how it, I can say, you know, as an example.